Now, here's your pinpoint weather forecast with meteorologist Henry Grom. Okay, we're going to take a break from looking at the radar. If you've been outside at all over mainly the past hour, it's been feeling warm. And even as we look here through the Jan Dill Sky Cam into downtown Parkersburg, it's shaking. We're looking at some gusty winds moving through so far, sustaining around 20 miles per hour. And look at that. It is 68, so close to hitting that 70 degree mark. But we'll see about that before that cold front moves through because it is a strong one as we have temperatures sitting in the 60s from Parkersburg. Columbus cooling down with the rain. But Indianapolis, we're actually looking at a 30 degree to 40 de degree difference between Parkersburg all the way into Chicago. You can just tell how strong that cold front is. So we're going to expect more rain to develop along that front, but well ahead of that, mainly around that warm front. That's when we've been seeing that active weather. We're going to continue to see this line of storms move off towards the east at around 70 miles per hour. So Athens will start to see some thunderstorms by around 7.13 this morning. Marietta and Parkersburg, we're going to be looking at around 7.30. But taking a look at those active alerts so far, starting to quiet down a little bit. That line of special weather statements, those are the white boxes. We're starting to see a new one develop into Morgan County. So far, that means that this line of storms is so far been sub severe. We're looking at that potential for wind gusts up around looking at the new statement around 50 miles per hour. So they're close to the severe thunderstorm warning threshold. So as that gets close to Washington County, if a severe thunderstorm warning is issued, we'll let you know as soon as we can and we'll keep you updated throughout this morning since we're expecting that and some rounds of heavy rain. So we do have a flood watch that's in effect until 7 p.m., most likely going to expire earlier since by the time we get to the afternoon, that rain comes to an end. But the tornado watch, that's until 10 a.m. this morning. So we're going to continue to see rounds of heavy rain pushing through. And that's going to create problems on the road, ponding, even some high waters that's going to cover the roadway. So if you see that, it's going to be a good idea. Turn around, don't drown. So by time that is all said and done, that cold front pushes through. Look at that this morning, 60s. By noon, we're looking at the 60s still, and then the mid to low 40s going into that evening commute. So you're thinking rain jacket, windbreaker, coat. Am I forgetting anything else? Yeah, probably an umbrella as well. But we're going to continue to see that rain through today. Then quiet weather for your Thursday and Friday. But look at that. Really a tale of two seasons feeling like the end of February, which tomorrow is mid 40s. And then March. Are you sure it's March? Feels like April by the time we get into Sunday with temperatures up into the 70s. Now time to take a look at what's trending.